Many Star Wars fans have been trying to figure out countless times exactly who is Supreme Leader Snoke ever since he was first introduced in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Welcome back everyone, this is Mike Zero here once again coming at you guys with a brief video involving The Last Jedi. Now, today I wanted to look into one of the newest villains in the Star Wars sequel trilogy who will be returning in Star Wars The Last Jedi. We are going to examine Supreme Leader Snoke and how there still holds a chance of him being Darth Plagueis. Now, I know, I know, we have heard this countless times, many different theories of who Snoke is and whatnot, but the biggest one of all is Plagueis. Now, yes, Pablo Hidalgo from Lucasfilm has said before in the past, Snoke is not Plagueis. Keep in mind, J.J. Abrams, the director of The Force Awakens, did this in the past as well with Khan in Star Trek, saying, Cumberbatch is not Khan. Today, let's look at an old, leaked, behind-the-scenes photograph that never really made the headlines. What we will examine is Andy Serkis dressed in a mocap suit. So, here is the image. Now, as you can see, Andy is all decked out in the detailed mocap suit. The main thing of interest that we must discuss is the object he is holding in his left hand. This object appears to be a staff of some sorts. In case you guys do not know, there is a Plagueis figure that appears to hold a strong similarity to what Andy is holding. Let's take a look at it right here. So looking at this side by side really raises some questions. Mine is, could Lucasfilm and Disney be basing Snoke off of the sinister character, Darth Plagueis? I would say that this would be the more realistic route to have Snoke just based off of Plagueis. Essentially, Snoke would be Plagueis in every way, just not by name. However, since Plagueis is canon since he was name dropped in the book Tarkin as Palpatine's master, it would not make all that much sense to have Snoke be Plagueis in every way besides his name. So, given Plagueis was mentioned in the Tarkin book, which is canon by the way, Plagueis is a part of this universe. However, Disney and Lucasfilm could still base Snoke off of Plagueis in every way, with some differences here and there to separate the characters much like with, with what they did with Darth Revan and Kylo Ren for a great example here. So guys, let me know what you think about this below in the comments section. Do you think that this image here of Andy Serkis holding the staff and how it has a great similarity to Darth Plagueis' character as a figure holding that staff, is there still a chance that Andy Serkis could be portraying secretly here Darth Plagueis. And I think it is still possible, however, I think the more realistic route is that Disney and Lucasfilm could strictly be basing Snoke off of Darth Plagueis in many different aspects. So guys, let me know what you think about this below in the comments. If you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Have a great time and enjoy. Bye.